right, so we're going ahead and installing our FE style rail rocker system onto our 390 engine. And, um, you know, this is your, what your rocker rails look like. Um, one thing to note about these is if you do disassemble them, um, they'll have a notch. You can kind of see the notch at the bottom. And those notches need to face towards the engine head. Um, now the reason for this is if we can pull this back here and get a look, there's oiling holes and they're supposed to face towards the ground. They're not supposed to face up. So that's something to keep in mind. So we got all these um, um, good and lubricated up and ready to install. Um, your push rods need to go in first and on these FEs it's pretty hard to see down in there but how you know you have them seated is when you put them in you push on them a little bit you'll feel that hydraulic lifter give a little bit so that's when you know you're good and you want to put um, a good amount of assembly lube on each end of these uh, <clears throat> push rods that's important um, you got this tin piece here that kind of deflects oil and diverts oil where it needs to go. Um, this is the proper orientation of how it's to be installed where it um, loops around the valve springs. So anyway, that's with the engine. And then there's um, a certain thing with the bolts here. Now as you can see, two of these bolts have a thinner body to them than the other bolts. You want to pay close attention to this because these bolts actually if you can see this uh, hole here has an oiling galley in it. See that little hole coming off the side? And that's how it um, pressurizes the rocker rail with oil. So you need to use this thin bodied bolt through that exact spot to allow for oil flow. Um, that's really important. You don't want to mess that up. So, And that's for both sides. There's just one spot and there's two of these. So one on each side so anyway we got the threads on these all oiled up for torquing and we're gonna get these thrown on here and get this all ready to go okay now that we got our rocker assembly put on and all the bolts finger tight with the uh, um, proper thin bolt in the correct location um, we're gonna go ahead and sequentially go down the line and tighten these down at two turns at a time. Now the trick behind this is that uh, you want the lifters to bleed off um, pressure if you go too fast, if you try and run them down all at once. You know, for one you can bend your rocker rail and that's really bad and um, you can bend your push rod. So again you want to go sequentially um, you don't want to start in the middle then go out. You'll bow that rail out. So um, that's something to be mindful of. But anyway, we're just going to work through them two turns at a time and just allowing them to uh, give some time for them to fully seat correctly. And then we can go ahead to torquing them. So anyway, we'll get along with that now. Alright, so we're torquing down our rocker rails and they go um, from 40 to 45 foot-pounds. So we're going to take them to 30 foot-pounds first and then finish it off. But as you can see, we're going to continue to work through these sequentially because you have to remember these rocker rails, um, what they run on is just a hollow tube. So again, I can't stress enough, you want to go, you know, two turns at a time as you go down when you're snugging them up. And then when you go to torquing, um, once they're snug, you should be, you know, all right. So, but you want to work down the line. You don't want to just, you know, do them haphazardly. So, um, should be pretty good. So we're going to set it to um, 45 foot-pounds here, and that should be the end of the, uh, the rocker assembly, and should be good to go.